Hello and welcome to What The Hey, where I'm your regular host of What The Hey, and today in What The Hey, I'm once again answering yet another question. When I go to my notebook of knowledge, I see the question of, what the hey is a car? Now this question was asked by Myra's Corner ASMR, so hello to you and thank you very much for the question. Broom broom. That, that is uh, not a sound that cars make. Um, I'm off to a great start, hello. In terms of the basic description, a car is typically seen as something that is used as a form or mode of transportation to move people or things from like one place to another. The word of car actually comes from two different phrases, one of them being wheeled vehicle and the second one being wheeled cart. And these come from like Latin and Middle English and they come from the word that is spelled C-A-R-R-E. So, Kari. I can't roll my R's, but there you go. So there's probably going to be some people who click on this video who know a lot about like modern cars and car stuff in general, uh, but the person asking the question kind of asked me to do the history of cars and I'm going to give like what I deemed as some of the most important stuff to like what contributed to car history. So if I'm not including a bunch of like stuff that you know about, Sorry, I try to keep these as short and as like informational as possible, uh, but feel free if you would like to. I hardly ever say these in other videos, but if there's something you'd like to add, feel free to do so in the comments. So in 1769, Nicholas Joseph Cugnot was like the first person to essentially make the first like self-propelled steam-powered like tricycle, basically the first initial kind of car. And like it was a tricycle basically, but when you think about it, cars are just like moving things with like motors, so like it, it counts I guess. But shout out to Nicholas, because without his like steam powered tricycle we wouldn't be where we are with Teslas, so there we go. In 1881, a guy by the first name of Gustav is credited for making the like first ever electrically powered three-wheeled tricycle slash car. Pretty much a car, but with three wheels, which is fancy, but still really cool. In 1897, a Czech vehicle manufacturing company was the first company to pretty much make a car with a motor. There was a lot of history in terms of cars that I was reading about that was about like all these guys having trouble with figuring out how to make engines and all that. Uh, so I couldn't necessarily, you know, fill in all that because I only have like a page that I can fill in. Um, but like a lot of stuff happened with that. And as always, I link stuff so you can do more research if you feel there's stuff you would like to look into. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff having to do with engines and people are super smart because, you know, we have cars. In 1913, a man by the name of Henry Ford, who you probably, the, the name may be ringing some bells, was pretty much one of the fastest and best people at doing like car manufacturing because of like his well-renowned like assembly line kind of stuff. Like you look at some of the information, he was just shooting cars and getting them sold. It was very impressive. So all of that information, although I have more information to present, was not that in-depth. I'll have links to websites where you can uh, read on your own if you would like to, uh, but like I tried to include the stuff that sounded very important, at least to me. Now for this last little bit of the video, I'm going to talk about some like modern and kind of stuff that you're probably already familiar with. So now I'm going to mention some like very, very famous car manufacturing brands that you probably do recognize. In terms of like car manufacturing, these ones are so great. We got like Toyota, we got Volkswagen, we got Hyundai, General Motors, Ford, Nissan, Honda, Fiat, BMW, and Subaru. Like all of those are really well known and the cars are pretty good. I have to say from my own experience, I own a 2009 Toyota Camry Hybrid. So fantastic, gas mileage be bussin', it really do. I also know that Ford and Honda, really reliable, you can like run Ford trucks like old ones into the ground and they'll probably still be good and alive. My family also, like my parents got like a Honda Pilot and that thing, I'm sure st we sold it to someone because like it just kept kind of breaking down almost. Uh, well, it lasted forever so like those, those are good as well. 
In terms of the type of fuel that most cars go on, you got stuff like gas, you have ethanol, uh, diesel fuel, uh, and then you have electricity. I know people are trying to switch over to electric more, which I think is smart, but it's also kind of expensive depending on what you get. But Teslas are nice, so maybe go get a Tesla if you want. In terms of my general thoughts, I think cars are super cool. I'm not smart enough to really manage one. I have my car. I know how to fill it with gas. I know how to change basic stuff. I actually changed my headlights recently and I felt proud of myself. One of the biggest things that I've always been interested in is how car manufacturers, like the history of like figuring out safety and fuel efficiency for cars is super interesting. I found it really interesting. I was on Pinterest recently and I saw a post about people debating the history of like safety specifically for cars, like how older cars were much bulkier and stuff and in crashes they wouldn't get dented um, but the people would die whereas now like cars when they get hit they're scrunched up and they get damaged but the people are safe because the impact and all that is like distributed now which is super cool. In terms of my favorite car, I would one day love to have a black and yellow Mustang or just like a Wrangler or something. I don't know, they're cool. I'm sorry. I also love the old Buick Flamingos. I I've probably talked about that before, but those are also cool. So this video was probably a bit longer than usual, uh, but thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll get to answering them as soon as I can. So thank you very much for watching. Bye.